Hey there, Mike. Glad you could make it. How could I refuse your offer? How could I ever refuse you, Agnetta? You can't. I'm simply irresistible. I hope you read the file I gave you and read it real well. Between the lines, you'll find the sign. Uh, I haven't. You got my stuff? Come on in, honey. You know, on the way over here, I got to thinking about these dark souls. If they're so damn dangerous, why didn't the ancients just destroy them? Because that's impossible. Their power is their immortality. If evil ever manages to implant these immortal souls into its monstrous slaves, can you imagine the carnage an immortal, unbeatable army would bring to the earth? That's apocalypse, Shadowman. That's the end. Okay, okay, so I really got to get to the Dark Souls before the bad guy. I understand that, but where do I find them? In Gobi. Each Gobi has been sealed by the most powerful voodoo. Not even the greatest Bokor or Mambo can open them to release the Dark Soul within. Believe me, I've tried. But a Shadow Man, or something even more powerful, just might be able to do it. Release the Dark Soul and take it into yourself. But be warned, the dark souls are a pure and ancient evil and possess a power that should not be abused. Okay, okay. Let's just get this thing over with. You got my stuff? Right here. A real fear, Jesus, Mike. Luke, he's alive. Alive and in pain. I've got to help him. He is dead, Mike. You know that. I know, but I saw. It's understandable that you still have strong feelings for your brother. That's why the bear works for you, connecting you to dead side. Use it now, Mike. Go dead side and find Jaunty. He's waiting for you at the narrow gate. He's got something to show you. Okay. And Mike? Yeah? If you need me, I'll be here. Now, go see Jaunty and get them dark souls. Okay, this was what, what I was searching for. Govi. There's these um, things that's uh, beating, I don't know. Okay, then we now got a weapon. Gun. A normal gun. Can't break it with this. Mike, use the bear. Go dead side. We could break them if we were on dead side. Because in dead side, it's not just a normal gun, it's the <coughs> shadow gun. Or something like that. And this you can break the Govi and get the Dark Souls. Okay, 13, 13 of these could do I think that's everything you can get. Mike, use the bear. Go dead side. Yeah, you already told me that. So open your inventory. See, it's Nettie's file here. It's the file, all the files were on the, of the uh, special killers. You see their uh, signs. Like this, or this. You might want to read through it, but it, you don't need to. Okay, so to get on the game, you'll need to use Luke's teddy bear. And you see, you can teleport to uh, Bayou Paradise, uh, Louisiana, or I don't know. Uh, that's where we are now, and uh, and the most important thing, that side, Marrow Gates. So this is where we have to go. <gasps> Some of the graphics. Wait a second, I'm going to fix this. Okay, I'll fix it. I am the Lord of Dead Side, shadow born at the confluence of worlds to walk between. Life side is without the meaning that my partly living possesses here in Dead Side, where the darkness is manifest at the edges of reason. As a god, I step forth upon the writhing, separating surface of the Dead Side serpent. What sleep is here? What dreams there are in the unctuous coilings of the snake's mortal shuffling? Weapon in my hand, my hand, the arcing death blow at the end of all things. The horror, the horror, I embrace it. Okay, now let's really start this game. For seven. Okay, I think that's good. 
turn the volume down a bit. Okay, you see it. I'm not with guns, but I'm with shadow ball. I'll shut the I don't know who this is. Well, at least I can uh, damage the enemies with this. Just keep shooting, shooting all the time. Collect um, the health. Oh, so that one. I don't know the damage is going to be So, this is Dead Side, the world of the dead. And um, now we are not Michael the Raw, we are now the Shadow Man. We've got special powers. Hello there, Michael. How's that treating you? Jaunty, kindly refer to me as Shadow Man. Michael the Wah has no place here in Dead Side. Whatever, Mick. It's good to see you again. Seems like simply ages since I last set the eyes on your happy, smiling mug. The feeling's mutual. I suppose you've been away dallying with the old battle axe, giving her one with some of that righteous voodoo so she can stay forever young? Something like that. She's been filling your head with her fated pillow talk again, I bet. Soon stay in an army giddy until you're drunk with the stuff. She did happen to mention a certain prophetic dream she's been having. Did she now? Well, for once I think the owl witch might be right. See that bloody big black tower yonder? How could I miss it? Well, old Bruegel, the medieval painter blokey, was just telling me the other day that he thought it looked remarkably like a picture he once did. Is that Peter Bruegel? No, shame it. It's this distant Irish cousin. Anyway, he was quite shocked though he was at that terrible mess that bloody thing's making. Appeared now that nowhere in turn its way through the place like there's no tomorrow. Which, given what Leslie's saying, might not be too far from the truth. Any idea what's going on in there? Nope, and I shan't be knocking on the front door to find out, neither. All I'd say is, if there's something wicked heading this way, it'll be coming from in there. Many mention the Dark Souls. Can you tell me any more about them? I'm afraid I'll have to reply in the negative again, Michael. Suffice it to say, Nettie's told me that they're bloody powerful, well nigh indestructible, and shouldn't fall into the wrong hands. Any idea where they might be? What am I, the Dark Soul Travel Guide now? I suppose you could try all of the ancient sacred places down amongst the whalers and shiverers. We just hope that none of them souls have ended up in that filthy big black tower. From what Nettie was saying, some of them already have, which is all the more reason for me to be pushing on. Open the gate, Johnny. Places to go, people to say, eh, Michael? Just open the gate, Johnny. Did I ever tell you about the time me and Attila the Hun were playing skittles with the guillotine heads of the French aristocracy? Johnny. All right, all right, keep your bloody hair on. Which, looking at your shining bonds, may prove to be rather difficult. Open, Sesame! And if you be wanting to pop by in Chatterboil, I'll still be here. It's just a shame we can't share a drop of the hard stuff together by a rod and tape fire. I don't drink with snakes. Okay, this is Jaunty. You can come back and talk to him anytime. We'll give you some tips. No, we won't. We don't need to. Take some time. It's um, way later in the game. I can't even say go to hell, badass, because it's this kind of guy. So. 
look at this. We saw the same thing in Louisiana.